Hey everyone, welcome back to the channel. Today we are diving into something new and exciting, the Hunian 3D Comfy UI workflow. So what it's all about? Let's break it down. Here in this new model, you can convert an image into 3D in just one click. And also this guide will help you get started with generating textured models in no time. Let's dive into an exciting journey of exploring effortless 3D creation. So how does the 3D workflow actually work? So let's break it down step by step. Firstly, let's see the original model files. And for that, you have to click here and enter into files and versions tab of hugging face. Then click on it. And now you can see there are three folders. Hunian 3D Delight, version 2.0, Hunian 3D DIT, and Hunian 3D Paint. So, this 3D Delight and 3D DIT model helps in shape generation that creates detailed meshes based on input conditions. Whereas, 3D Paint helps in texture synthesis that enhances the meshes with vibrant and high quality textures. So now let's start the practical process and to run this workflow, you need to download the Hunian 3D Safe Tensor. And now you can see this is the Safe Tensor file Hunian 3D DIT FP16 Safe Tensors, which is of around 4.93 GB with FP16, but it works with low VRAM also. You can download from this Dropbox and save it in your models diffusion model folder in comfy ui next now you need to install comfy ui hunian 3d wrapper node and to do this you have to go to custom node folder of your comfy ui and type cmd at the top of the bar and then copy the link from the website and paste it here it's time to install the libraries which are required to run this model. Go to your Comfy UI Hunian 3D model folder and again type CMD at the top of the bar. Now this command prompt will open and copy the link from the website as already given here and paste it here. Point to note if you are using portable version that you then you have to go to your comfy ui hunian 3d wrapper folder and there you will see a file by the name requirements and there you have to click right and click on copy as path go to python embed folder of comfy ui windows portable folder click on it at the top of the bar. Next, you have to write python.exe-m pip install minus r and then paste the path you copied earlier. Now, you need to install pre-compiled rasterizer and for this, you have to click on this link and download this file. Once downloaded, save it in your Windows Portable folder of Comfy UI. After this, click right and click on copy as path. Then you have to follow the same route which you followed earlier. You have to go to Python embed folder of Comfy UI Windows Portable folder. Then you have to write python.exe minus m pip install and then paste the path you copied earlier now again you have to go to your comfy ui's hunian 3d wrapper folder and you will get hy3d gen folder click on it and now click on text gen folder and then custom underscore rasterizer folder then open the folder in command and type python setup dot 
py install once then come back to navigate to the differentiable re render directory and then open that folder in command prompt and then copy the line and paste it here now the last step is to download the workflow once downloaded open it in your comfy ui once the comfy ui opened you will see this is the diagram and here firstly we will talk about the models nodes so you will see a new node which is hy 3d model load model loader in which you have to select hunian 3d dit fp16 safe tenses file and then in load hy 3d delight model node you can see hunian 3d delight version 2o is selected by default so you don't need to change anything it will automatically download and will save in your pc and same goes for this node 2 which is load hy 3d paint model now coming to load image you have to upload a 2d image as i have taken this one then coming to image resize width and height will be 512 by 512 as default interpolation will be lancos method is pad as default and conditions will be always then moving on to inspire net transparent vg node it helps in removing the background of the image and for the best result you need to select base as mode now empty image and image composite mask will be default so here will be no changes now moving on to next hy 3d generate mesh in this node for the best result your settings should be 256 in octal resolution 5.5 as guidance scale steps should be 50 but you can increase the steps up to 70 steps next is hy 3d post process mesh node in this remove floaters you have to select true why because it removes unwanted small fragments floating around which are not part of main structure and that waste memory as well next is remove degenerate faces it must be true as it delete broken or useless part of the mesh reduce faces must be true as it shrinks complexity of your 3d model by using fewer tiny pieces Turn this on if you need a smaller or faster model of for your project. Next phase num, we have to set the limit to ensure mesh doesn't exceed application limit. So it will be 40,000. Now moving on to next, Union 3D DIT. It helps in generating the 3D shape or the model created a 3D frame of the object. Whereas delight group which helps in making the textures look clean and natural by removing unwanted shadows or highlights in the 3d shapes of the mesh and next is hunian 3d paint model that adds textures and colors to the 3d mesh generated by dit model next node in which i have done the changes is hy 3d render multi view in this render size is 1024 and texture is 1024 steps will be 30 and rest of the nodes settings will be default now let's generate the results and wait for the outcome finally here is the result and here you can see this has generated in both in texture and in multi view also in multi view there are six angles of this image now moving on to pre preview 3d here there is a no show but if you go to your outputs 3d folder in comfy ui you will see 
the file with glp format and if you open this file in blender and you have to import this file in your blender now you can see this is the image which i had uploaded in 2d now it has been converted into 3d you can see this is so natural and it has converted into just in a one click only it looks natural and everything is in detail now you can add your textured image to this model now after this i have uploaded the textured image which i had generated in comfy ui I, by going in material properties of this blender now the texture has been added to this 3d model you can see how natural it looks and all the colors and everything is in detail thus you can create your any 2d image into 3d in just one click so that's all for today's video don't forget to like share and subscribe if you like my content good day see you soon in the next learning session